Yeah, I got, I got one. Hey, great stoppage. Tell me about the knockdown. Walk me, walk me through what happened there. I just had to calm down, you know, really pick my shots. I started seeing that, you know, even though the pressure's coming and stuff like that, you gotta calm the storm. Matter of fact, I am the storm. So it's all about just switching it up. It's been a while, you know what I'm saying? It's been a while. Um, in all honesty, though, you know, like, I had to remind myself that I'm gonna be okay in there. You know, my last fight, I nearly died. You guys don't know that feeling, you know what I'm saying? And, and to go back to something that almost killed you, you know, it, it could mess with you. And I was just there in the back before, the, before everything. And I was just telling myself, I'm gonna be okay, you know, God is in my corner. God is always there. He ain't going. I didn't come this far to just come this far. And that's really the uh, the, the mindset. Uh, you know, the magnitude of all this is is great and all. However, I can't be I can't be Tio Fimo without God. Tio, you feel when did you one finally one? answer those questions for yourself in in the fight itself? Yeah, you guys don't know what it is. You guys don't know how it feels. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys see it from the outside perspective, but when you're out there, you're taking the shots and and you know you got somebody that's coming at you. You got to use your lungs again when you blew up your lungs in the last fight you know and that's pressure that's a lot of pressure and pressure you know it's it's like it's against all odds at that moment and a lot of people don't really tap into that you know and, and I don't care if they say it's excuses I didn't know kids with asthma is an excuse you know what I'm saying so it's all about just uh really taking it from this point forward uh, focusing on what's next for me in December we're gonna be fighting again December 10th uh, maybe Madison Square Garden maybe at the O2 Arena against Josh Taylor who knows would you yeah is that what you would want next the winner pro Grace and uh, Cepeda or Josh Taylor, would you feel like? Yeah, I want to shoot for the titles, you know what I'm saying? Having these guys like Barboza, Ryan Garcia, and all these other guys, I mean, it's just getting in my way of becoming a two-time Undisputed World Champion. I know I could do it within the next year. Would you still want the Garcia? You know, absolutely, the time, absolutely, yeah. but however, it's like, you know, what does Ryan bring other than the, the fans? I, I understand you guys say it's going to be a lot of money and stuff like that, but y'all don't see my, my mindset. The money's always going to take care of itself, guys. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about that. I know where I'm headed. How I'm comfortable going, you feel I'm headed to the court. castle, man. I'm headed to the castle. Shit, that's all it is. Tonight, how would that fight go, though, based on how you felt tonight? Uh, I had to get the ring brush out and everything, but I'll beat the shit out of all these boys. By the way, do you, Oscar, Oscar was your ringside. Did you talk to him at all, De La Hoya? Nah, they, everybody got up and just walked away. <laughs> Anybody you want in particularly? Like I said, Josh Taylor, because he has a WBO, the IBF. I just got ranked. We're going to... Um, you know, it makes me laugh. Jose Ramirez petitions it, and Jack, and Jack Cartero, they petitioned them to have me out the ranking. And then, uh, you know, they're not even fighting each other on first off. And then Ramirez is saying that he's going to go get married because he don't want to, he's too scared to fight Cepeda. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's, we're just going to come back. Hopefully by next hopefully by next week or so, we'll be in the rankings as a mandatory to fight Josh Taylor. Tio, you're a uh, power. I to take the power better than the 35 pounds. I gotta work on a little couple things, you know, uh, before I even got in the ring, you know, my legs. Gotta work on them a little bit more. I just, uh, I think maybe it is the, the cut weight still, you know, I'm still working on different things. I gotta work on my, uh, gotta work on, it, it's been a while. You know, my, my, my body took a lot of uh, damage from my last fight. So, you know, that's why I only did two weeks of sparring. You know, I understand my body. I'm listening to my body more and, and you know, because if not, my body's my temple. Hey, you, did you get a chance to talk to Oscar in the back? I saw him. Nah, everybody loves, man. They all upset, you know, they, they think that, Either they upset or they're just happy and they got to move, you know, on to the next. They didn't think I was going to perform this way. That's why. You have to, Tio, uh, you mentioned the power coming Which back. Which it wasn't even like, it wasn't even that my greatest performance, really. I slacked around a couple rounds, you know what I'm saying? I was just buying time. I was going to say, you hit him with some really clean like shots. Huh? I, I graded B+. Plus, but after like nine months or so, I mean... What can you expect? You know what I'm saying? So it's all about now just focusing on, look, I haven't seen my kid in about two months. You know, I had to deal with mental issues on that part with, with the fact that my son's mother was saying that I lost because I wasn't with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's brutal. Wow. That's brutal. Well, hey, shit, like, like Rick Ross and all of them say, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. So it's all about just moving forward. I'm not going to bash my son's mother because that is my son's mother. However, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of them at the moment. The house that they're living under and everything is under the stuff that I'm doing for them. So, you know, um, at least for my son, not even for her. It's for my son, and, and I just can't wait to see him tomorrow. Did this win do something for you? You know, feeling positive after all this dark stuff going on the last almost year? Yeah, 
man. You know, the, you know what happens is like you give people too much. When you give them an inch, they want a foot. You know, they don't want a mile. They want a foot, and then another foot. And it's all about, um, you know, I, I gave someone so much of me, and I lost part of me on that part. Now I'm just coming back, collecting it, and and it's tough, man. It's tough. You know, it's really tough. But it, I, all things are possible with God. Like I said before, with God, anything is possible. And um, I'm just focused on that now. One yeah, more. Yeah, tell, tell me about. Listen, like, even like what Odell said, and I think he got a lot of backlash out of it, you just got to go and do it, man. Ain't no mental issues out there. You just got to go out there and do it. You got to just rely on God. Um, whoever your God is, rely on that. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's the universe, all those things, rely on that and just eat it up, man. Life is going to be hard regardless, but choose your heart. You know, I, I noticed what, with these people in these worlds, it's like, um, I know I'm over speaking. However, it's like this. I mean, you, everyone has a nine to five, regardless of what we look, but it's what you do after that nine to five that's going to set the difference. You know what I mean? See, like, it's like, that is the difference between people that just deal with their life in every day and people that want to be great. They go and do overtime. There's 24 hours in a day. There shouldn't be no excuse. What all. message did you send to the 140 us. division? When did you feel comfortable in there? After like the fourth. After the fourth round, honestly, after to be real, even in the first round, I already felt it. It's just trying to warm up my legs more. I had to warm them up. I had to get them really, uh, you know, working. <laughs> Any final message to your rivals? Those uh, boys ain't my rivals. They they they're just clout chasers. They don't want to fight me. I mean, I just look at it that way. You know, they all talk about a big game, but they don't really show up. I mean, a lot of you guys don't even want to watch that rematch that they have because it's boring. What? You're just gonna win off jabs? You got to do more than that. You know, and I think I did enough today just to show you guys that I am I am entertainment. Thank I, you guys. I am what what you guys are your thoughts on Haney Campos' part two? You know what I love is that a lot of you guys are under their payroll and, and really it's just amazing. It amuses me. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys got to go and hustle somewhere else. Thank you guys. Uh, but thank, thank you guys. Thank you, Tio. Hey, great to see you. I love this. It was good right, right this way, Tio. By the way, I told Mike to call you. Thank you guys. Have a great night. You talk to Mike. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that'll work.